To anyone that loves Adventure Time, and to all the bronies out there, I'm not a brony, but this video and this project is dedicated to you guys. Hey guys, Ray Bahar from Get Crafty Crafty, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make this DIY unicorn horn inspired by Lady Rainicorn from Adventure Time and Lord Monochromacorn from the Adventure Time special, Fiona and Cake. A lot of you guys in the past have requested some girly projects, but to me, arts and crafts has never really been a thing about labels. I like to make my projects so that anyone can make it, whether you're someone really young, really old, or if you're a guy or a girl. At the end of the day, if you're making something that is a representation of who you are and how you feel, and you're not offending anyone, it doesn't have to be labeled as a girl project or a guy project. So today, we're gonna be making these unicorn horns, and throughout the whole video, I'm gonna be sporting my Lord Monochromacorn horn. Let's go ahead and get started with today's project. The items that you'll need for today's project include a headband, scissors, a ruler and a protractor, pillow stuffing, hot glue sticks, a hot glue gun, shiny stringer thread, assorted felt, and as an optional item, some decorative stones. First, you want to draw the template for your horn. On a piece of cardboard, draw out these measurements so that you can create your horn. It's 8 inches on the bottom, 65 degrees on the bottom two corners, 8 inches up, an inch and a half at the top, 8 inches on the other side, and then 150 degrees on the top corners. Go ahead and create this trapezoid template. After you've drawn your template, go ahead and trace it onto a piece of felt and then cut it out. This will be the base of your horn. After you've cut out the felt for your horn, you're going to use hot glue to put it all together. Starting from the top, you're going to gently roll the top of your horn together and then apply a small amount of hot glue at the top. Continue to add glue from the top of your horn to the base of your horn until you have a glued down horn shape. Your horn should look something like an upside down ice cream cone. Make sure this is all glued down really well. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight since we're going to cover it up later. Make sure everything is glued down. Fill your unicorn horn with pillow stuffing. To make sure that you have enough pillow stuffing at the end of your horn, use a pencil or a chopstick to push it all the way in. After you've filled your horn up with enough pillow stuffing, you're going to attach it to your headband. Find the center of your headband and you're going to take your horn and place it in the center. Find where the felt meets your headband and apply a small amount of glue to hold it in place. After that hot glue has dried, seal your horn by taking your triangle part and folding it in toward the end of your horn and then glue these pieces together so that you have none of the pillow stuffing escaping from your horn. After the hot glue has dried on the base of your horn, you're going to take your shiny thread and then you're going to tie a knot at the top of your horn. After securing your knot at the top of your horn, go ahead and create a spiral by wrapping it around your horn to decorate it. After you've tied up your string, go ahead and set your horn aside. You're going to take a piece of felt and you're going to create the ears for your horn. Take a rectangular piece of felt and fold it in half. You're going to cut out a shape that looks kind of like a lemon, but is flat on the end where it's folded and pointy at the top. Go ahead and make two identical pieces. After you've made your two pieces, you're going to apply it to your horn. The best way to do this is to first take some hot glue and place it on the fold of your ears and then glue it onto your headband. Be very careful when you're doing this since there is hot glue that's going to be right at the base of your headband. After the glue has dried on the base of your ears, glue both pieces together. Using another color of felt, cut out a smaller version of the ear, except it only has to be one-sided, and then glue that onto the top of your ear. Repeat it on both sides of your horn. As an optional step, you can glue these decorative stones onto the base of your horn just to make it a little more special. After the hot glue has dried on your horn, it's ready to be worn. And that accidentally rhymed. Um, 
I wasn't really thinking of a real life application to wear this since I'm not really a hair accessory kind of guy, but as I was making this video, I got some news from some friends that we might be going to a renaissance fair in the next few weeks, so I'm probably gonna wear this if we go to the renaissance fair. If you guys do add these special little um, decorative stones on the base of your horn, make sure you don't add too much just because it could be too heavy and your horn could get knocked over. If you guys make this project, make sure you share it with me either on my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter using the Get Crafty Crafty hashtag. And make sure you check out our last two videos, the Paracord uh, friendship bracelet and our Easter egg recycled bug light. Hopefully you guys can make this project and share it with me just because I always enjoy seeing everyone's projects and seeing how creative you guys can turn my DIYs into. Uh, hopefully you guys make it. Thanks again for watching. Take care and stay crafty.